Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Ian bringing you another video in this AI series with the new Boston. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI's image generation with Dolly 2 and Dolly 3. It's really simple, only a couple lines of code, really powerful. I'm going to show you the basics, but I'm also going to tell you about some other things that it can do in case you want to take the extra time to go through the documentation and explore some of those things. We're working from the 09 image generation folder inside of the OpenAI directory inside of our AI Playground repository. If you don't have it already, it's included in the description of this video as a link. We'll go ahead and minimize that over there and focus on the code. All right, so at the very top, simple, we just bring in OpenAI from OpenAI and then we create a new client. By default, it's going to look for the OpenAI underscore API underscore key environment variable, which will have set equal to our OpenAI API key as an environment variable in our system. Once you have that set up, then you're ready to go making these requests. Simple as that. So the first line here with the actual code to make the API call is going to be on line four. Essentially, we're going to have a response variable setting it equal to the client and dot images dot generate. This takes a set of arguments. Let's walk through those. The first one is the model. The options here are either doll E3 or doll E2. So doll E2 is going to have some slight differences. Doll E3 is obviously more powerful, but there are some limitations. We'll talk about that when we get to the bottom here with the in argument. The next thing is the prompt. This is really important because we're going to pass in a text prompt and then we're going to get an image generated from that. There are other options. You can actually pass in images if you want to get variations of those images or if you want to edit those images. That's not something we're going to cover in this video, but it is a possibility. So be sure and check out the documentation for image generation if you're interested in some of those additional features. So with the prompt, we're going to include whatever text describing the image that we want generated. Then we're going to set the size. There's a few different sizes. The one we're going to go with is a square. So just 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. There's a couple more options. If you want some different ratios for your size of the image, you can check those out in the documentation. We'll have that linked in the description below. The quality here is standard. The other one is HD. Standard is going to generate more quickly. Still going to be really great looking. You'll see that here in a second. But if you want something a little more higher definition, then you can use HD instead of standard. Now, the last argument here in is very important. It's set to one with Dolly three, and that's the only thing it can be set to. However, if you use Dolly two, you can set it all the way up to 10. And what that means is you can send 10 image requests simultaneously. Now with Dolly three, what you can do is you can send these requests in parallel. So if you want to get 10 images, you just send 10 different requests. But if you want to send one request that gets you 10 images, you have to switch back to the Dolly 2 model. And you simply do that by changing the model name to Dolly 2 instead of Dolly 3. Because we're using Dolly 3 here, we're going to stick with the n equals 1 argument. And then down here, we get from the response that we're getting back from that request, we're going to derive the image URL. So image underscore URL, the variable, is set equal to response.data. Now data is a list. And with this specific request, because we have n equals one, it's only going to have one object inside of there. We're going to pull that object out with the zero with index, and then we're going to access its URL with the dot URL. If you have Dolly two and you're doing anything more than n equals one, if you're doing n equals two through 10, then you would do data bracket one to get the second image, data bracket two to get the third image, all the way up to data bracket nine to get the 10th image. And so you can see here, I have an example that I'll uncomment here in a minute and show you how we can get multiple images with Dolly 2. But first, let's send this request with Dolly 3 and just show you what it gives us back. Once we get it back, we derive the image URL from the response, then we're going to actually print that out. Once we print it, we're going to see it in our console and we can click on it and that'll open up our browser and let us see the image. The URL that it gives us for the image is only temporary. It's available for an hour. So make sure that you download that image and if you want to use it on your website, make sure you host it somewhere else. Okay, so let's head over to our terminal here, run this program, and wait for it to print out the URL. All right, so here's our picture. Just know that the generation of the images takes a little bit longer than what we're used to with our text generation, and you can imagine why with how much work is being done behind the scenes. So we get this image URL back from here. I can just control click, or if you're on a Mac, you can command click and it'll take you directly out to your browser. 
And sure enough, here we are with our image of a farmhouse with some mountains in the background. We got a tree, we got a creek, really beautiful. If we ran this a number of times, we would get a bunch of different variations of this. Again, this only lasts for an hour, this particular URL. So you want to make sure you right click and save the image, and then you can upload it to some other server. I'm going to get out of here and head back over here. And what I want to show you is how we can use Dolly 2 to send multiple requests. We're going to go up to the model. We're going to change it to Dolly 2. And for the n equals 1, we're just going to change it to 2. So then we're going to scroll down a little bit and uncomment these lines here. So we have image URL 2 is going to be accessed through the response.data. Again, data is a list. So we want the 1th value from that list, which is an object. So we use one here for the index, and then we pull the URL out of that object. And then we can print an empty space here after the first image URL, and then print our second image URL. We're going to open up our terminal and run the Python main.py, and we'll be right back whenever it prints out our image URLs. Okay, here we are with our two image URLs. So we can click the first one, open, go back, click the second one, open you can see we have multiple tabs here so this one gave us a painting style and if we close that we can see this other one again the style of a painting and i think i still have the original open so this is a little more realistic dolly 3 is the one that gave us the more detailed and realistic image and dolly 2 is the one that gave us the painting style images the prompt is going to be the same the size is going to be the same the quality is going to be the same but the end value when you're using dolly 2 can be anything between 1 and 10. If you switch it back to Dolly 3, just make sure that you switch it back to n equals 1. If you don't, then it's going to throw an error. And then, of course, we're not going to get back multiple images here, so we'd want to comment back out any code that we're not using. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Can't wait to see you all in the next one. And until next time, peace.